Hello guys, welcome back to another episode in our 3D print series. What we're going to look at today is how to get our print or get our new models that we created in the last couple of videos ready for printing. The first thing we need to do is create an STL file. So we're in Fusion 360 and we go to Tools and then to 3D Print. This brings up the 3D Print dialog box and we have a couple of options here. There's only really two to we are interested in. First is the refinement. To keep things simple, you just choose between low, medium or high. So you probably choose high there. I don't, I don't think I did in this video, but probably not gonna make that much of a difference. And the second important option is whether you want to send your STL files directly to a 3D print utility. So that's if you want to send it directly to your printer. Now, when I'm using the GE Tech i3 printer, that is an option. I can click that and it will open Repetia Host and that will just put the STL straight into Repetia Host and I can print directly from that. But with the Anycubic Photon, it's better to export the STL file, put it on the memory stick and just put the memory stick into the printer and run it that way. So now you're going to want to select a Part that you want to export, hit OK, select the directory that you want to save it to and just give it a name, it's already in STL format, so just name it and save it. And we're going to do that for the palette fork as well, so that's the clevis hitch and the palette fork that we made in the last two videos. Then we're going to move over to chai 2 box to do the CAM processing. But, uh, just a reminder, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and get the bell on if you want to receive notifications. Here we have our clever hitch imported into chai 2 box now. We're going to use this software now to create the file that the uh, Anycubic Photon printer can understand. So, Along the left hand side we have options to move the part, rotate the part, scale the part and mirror the part. And from the top menu we have options to clone the current model, to auto layout multiple models, to hollow the model or to uh, dig a hole or cut a hole through your model. Now we've added in the palette fork as well and we're going for an auto layout. And don't forget, if you want to find out any more information on any of the models, uh, don't forget to head over to the website, rctractiguide.com. Now we're going to head to the Support Material tab. Uh, this is where you have all the various options to add uh, the support struts that are going to stick up from the print bed and support the, the model. You can see that they appear anywhere where the model is kind of hanging in free space because the, uh, the printer can't just print into nothing yet. There has to be some connection there to the print bed. So anywhere where it's overhanging, you have a strut. Here are the options for the different uh, print settings that you've used. So I have one for any cubic photon. Uh, basically, it tells the program how you want to slice the models for each layer that the printer's gonna print. And that's pretty much it, it doesn't take uh, too long for it to actually slice the model into the different layers. And along the bottom you can see some of the settings that uh, come from that uh, settings selection that uh, we seen a second ago where I had an anycubic photon. So the bottom uh, exposure time will be the first few layers, you give them a little bit of extra time to make sure that the print actually sticks to the bed. And uh, the layer heights, how uh, how thick the slices are actually going to be and uh, the other important thing then will be the exposure time so that's the once the bottom layers are done how fast it's going to uh, hold the exposure for the remaining layers for each layer after that and suppose, uh, the lift distance that's probably how high the printer goes when it peels the layer of the film on the bottom of the uh, container that holds the material. And if you look on the right hand side, uh, there's some information about uh, how long the print is going to take. 
okay, an estimate of how much material it's going to use to actually create the part and an estimate of how much that's going to cost which is probably set somewhere in the, the settings at the, at the start as well and that's all there is to it you just uh, save that now uh, this is save it as a dot photon file and you put that on the memory stick going into the printer turn the printer on and when you hit the print uh, button on the printer you should see your whatever you've called it dot photon file I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did hit the like button and thanks very much for watching.